What is up guys? Welcome to the South Coast. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for coming and checking out my video. If you're a subscriber already, I appreciate y'all coming back and watching some more videos. Um, if you like this video and you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, there'll be more videos coming on down the line. But anyway guys, we'll get started on this video today doing a little maintenance on my work boots. Um, There's a pair of NYX handmade work boots. They're a company out of Spokane, Washington. Uh, they do a lot of boots for wildland firefighters and loggers and stuff like that. Um, pretty cool West Coast company. Um, so where I work Monday through Friday, um, I'm pretty much on my feet a good majority of most days. Uh, there's some, some days where I spend a lot of time in the office, but I'm on my feet a lot of the time and I'm always on concrete and steel structures, uh, steel grading, stuff like that. So surfaces that are generally pretty hard and um, pretty rough on your back and stuff. And fortunately we get an allowance for safety shoes. We have to have steel toes, uh, steel toe boots safety toe boots where we work so fortunately we get an allowance for um, for safety shoes and uh, we have a truck come out once a month or so and we could go get a pair of boots off this truck and it was, everything was good but these boots that we were getting I was going through them and breaking down the arch support and the, everything like that they're, they're getting broke, broke down getting cracks in them, they were leaking whenever I would get them wet, um, and they were only lasting me about six months, so I went ahead and saved up some money, invested in this pair of boots, and let me tell you, it's been a complete game changer. Um, whenever I was wearing the other boots, at night when I would come home and lay in bed, like going to bed at night, I'd have throbbing, my heels would be throbbing. You know, I'd have to hang them over the edge of the bed to keep them from uh, hurting too much. So I have not had those issues since I've been in these boots. Um, I never, my back never really hurt noticeably throughout the day wearing the other boots, but since I've been wearing these, it, I mean, I feel like I have more energy and um, my muscles aren't getting as tired in my back and legs and stuff like that. So I'm loving these boots so far. So these are the NYX. Um, they're a six inch tall, steel toe. I think this is their contender line. Um, it's got the Vibram lug sole and it's on their moderate arch, uh, moderate arch build. Sorry about that, had to let the old dog inside. But so these are, they're on their moderate arch, so they have a build um, that's an even higher arch than these. They have a thicker heel, and then they also have, a, well, I think these are a medium arch. I don't know, there's moderate, medium, and high arch. I'm not sure between moderate and medium which one's which, but. So they have one that are like a standard boot that doesn't have this heel stack up. Um, but you get less arch support in it. This is their mid-range. Um, and it's got a thicker heel stack up. Uh, and then they also have a high arch boot, which has an even taller heel stack up, more arch support and stuff like that. Um, I'll put a link to their website down in the description. Um, so if you wanna go check out all of their boots, uh, but anyway, let's get into the maintenance I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this Obanoff's Heavy Duty LP uh, boot grease. It's like a wax. So I'll bring y'all on in here. That way you can get a good look at the boots while I'm greasing them up. And I'll, uh, I'll sort of keep talking on them and show you more about them. Alright guys, so we are going to get rolling on taking care of these boots. I'm gonna do one at a time. So yeah, I'm, I'm really loving these boots so far. I've probably had them eight or so months. I try and keep them, I try and do this uh, maintenance on them once every couple months. 
I'm really not putting them in a super harsh environment. Like I say, they make these boots for wildland firefighters and loggers and stuff who are in mud and mountains and that sort of stuff day in and day out. Um, so I'm not putting them through nearly that amount of abuse. But I do wear them every day. And they do get wet and they've gotten hydraulic fluid on them. Um, had some cryogenic fluid, some liquid nitrogen and such, liquid air drip on them from time to time, just the operations we do at work. So just a quick look at them. They got a full full tongue in there, which is important for me at work because we have to have that full front protection when we're doing uh, operations with cryogenic liquids. Um, you see that heel stack up, that's all leather, and then it's got the Vibram sole on it. I was able to, so you can custom order boots through this company, um, and it's sort of what I did. Uh, they send you a fit sheet, you trace your foot on their fit sheet, uh, just your bare foot, not your boot, but, and then take some other measurements, you send it off to them, and then they send, they actually sent me two pairs of boots to try on. Uh, so I tried those on and called them up while I had them on, sort of talked to their one of their fitters and sort of told them how they were feeling and where they were hurting, where they felt good, stuff like that. So from there they uh, got my boot size figured out and then I put in the order and I specifically ordered this the rough leather for the toe and the, this heel part and then the smooth leather for the upper. Uh, that rough leather, leather resists um, what do you call it, scuffing and stuff like that a lot more than this smooth leather. And so, and I, I honestly just like the look of it. I like that contrast between the smooth leather on the upper and the lower. I think their standard height for boots is either eight or 10 inches, which is taller than what I wanted. Um, I don't need a whole lot of ankle support in these boots, so I ended up deciding to go with the six inch tall. I got them to eliminate the pull loop on the back they usually come with a pull loop you put your finger on through to pull them on. I got them to eliminate that because I didn't want to get getting hung up on my jeans and stuff like that. Um, and then it wore off, but I got them to put the fire resistant Vibram sole on. And these soles are pretty cool there. So the heel is nailed in, but as far as the front part of the sole, it's glued screwed and stitched so you got three three mechanisms for keeping that sole on but anyway i try to do this uh, maintenance to these boots about once every couple months i think i'm a little overdue i use this Obanoff's lp boot grease of sorts it's like a wax i think it's mostly beeswax I don't know, but it smells good and it uh, makes the boots look real good. So we'll get some of this put on there. Like I said, I've had these boots for eight months or so and I've really been enjoying them. And I do wear them like outside of work also, whenever I'm working on our property running chainsaws or doing anything out there um, that's somewhat hazardous. I'm usually wearing jeans and these boots and they're, they're holding up well. Really enjoying them so far. Now I will say if you're not in the west coast area, if you're not from that part of the country, you are likely to catch some flack from the boys at work. Whenever I first showed up with these boots on, I, I had some uh, I had some jokes, but you know, it is what it is. Talking about he's wearing high heel boots, stuff like that. But jokes on them. I can walk in deeper water without getting wet. So we'll get these boots all greased up.
try and get down in that crease. This stuff's nice, it will, uh, keeps, well, it adds sort of a, a water-resistant layer, water-repellent layer to your boots, so, technically these aren't waterproof boots, there's no rubber, Gore-Tex, or any sort of liner in them, they're all leather except for the, the sole on them, um, so they're not technically a waterproof boot, but, they do really well, especially whenever you keep them treated with this open off. So they, I haven't gotten water inside of them yet. And I've been in some, been in some fairly deep water, definitely up, up over the seam between the boot leather and the sole, I guess. I will say with these, it did take a good bit of work to get them broken in. They were not, I would not say they were super comfortable straight out of the box, but that's to be expected when you got the real thick, high, high quality leather, heavy duty leather that they use on these. It takes a while for that leather to break in. But once they got broken in, I've, I've watched several videos on these boots and different people reviewing them and stuff like that and everyone said that oh yeah once they're broken in they feel like you're putting on your slippers or something like that and I don't know if I'd necessarily go as far as to say that but they're definitely comfortable once you get them broken in definitely more comfortable than the boots I was wearing So definitely getting that heel stack up, that's all leather, so getting that good and coated also. Keeping that leather hydrated, try and keep it from separating and stuff like that. All around the boot like that. I like to put a little extra on this toe, I think they call that the vamp. Bootmaker's terminology for it. I like to keep it a little extra. That sees the most wear and tear, really. That open off just puts the life right back into these boots. Another really cool thing about these boots is that you get them resold once your sole wears out, and you can actually get them rebuilt for much cheaper than the cost of a whole new pair of boots. So once you wear them out, to a point where they need to be rebuilt, which is, it's gonna be after several resoles. Um, they'll literally replace everything except for this upper. So you'd get all new toe leather, all new heel leather, new midsole and sole, new heel stack up, new, new everything. And it's way cheaper than buying a whole brand new pair of boots from them. 
Uh, so, really, it's a boot that you can keep for ever, really. Just keep getting it resold and rebuilt as needed. I'm also going to put some on the inside of this tongue. It gets pretty dry out. This company actually makes a lot more than just these heavy duty work boots. They make casual boots and light duty boots and all sorts of stuff. And they have some some really cool looking boots. I'm not really a shoe guy. I don't own a lot of shoes, but there's something about nice leather boots that just I really like. I like going on there and just sort of looking at what they have. You can get all sorts of custom colors, not necessarily in the work boots. I think they only do three different colors in this heavier leather, but in their casual boots, they have all sorts of colors of leather and do all sorts of color combinations and stuff like that. All right, so boot is done. It's all cleaned up and greased up and ready to go. So we'll set that aside. And then we'll do the false tongue. Do this false tongue to protect the actual tongue of the boot from the laces. Uh, it's way cheaper to replace this than it is to replace the tongue of the boot in there. So use that false tongue. It's more of a consumable than anything else. Wear it out and get another pair of them. Another pair of the false tongues. Get it nice and treated. And then last but not least is we take I just do a light coating on the laces, um, nothing too much. I don't want to saturate them, but just a little coat on the laces, keep them lubricated. That is one thing about lace-up boots. This is the first pair of lace-up boots I've ever had. Um, definitely want to keep a spare set of laces on you, or at least in your truck or in your desk at your office or even have a pair at the house, I need to order another pair, but. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will, uh, I'll spare y'all going over and doing the second boot, but that's pretty much how to do the maintenance on a NYX leather boot, leather work boot. Um, pretty simple, really. Just keep it clean and greased and get many many years out of it all right real quick before I get this other one knocked out just want to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the treated versus the untreated and eventually it'll get back to this uh, lighter sort of uh, color but just wanted to sort of show you all the difference between the treated and the untreated boot you can sort of see on this upper there's a bit of scuffing that's more evident before it gets treated but that Obanovs puts puts the uh, moisture back in that leather gets it gets it looking a good all right so I'm gonna get this one knocked out and then be good all right guys well we got both of the boots false tongues and laces all greased up and ready to go um, it's kind of like it's one of those things I enjoy doing obviously I'm not doing it every day or every week it's just once every couple months but it, it's sort of nice to just clear your mind and 
get your boots all cleaned up and, and looking good and rehydrated. Speaking of which, got the old USA. Sick move. Got the old USA Tervis Tumbler there keeping me hydrated. Thank you very much, Mrs. South Coast, for that. But yeah, that Open Offs LP pair of NYX boots, you can't go wrong. Um, there's not much else I got to say about these boots. I will say they are expensive, so definitely uh, I wouldn't go into debt to buy these boots, but if it's something you can afford, uh, something you can save up for and get, and you're in need of some good quality work boots, I would highly recommend NYX. Um, I haven't worn any of the others like the, I think Whites, um, Viberg, some other big names, uh, West Coast boot names. I haven't worn any of their stuff like that. But I have really enjoyed these Knicks. I really love them. Uh, they've been an asset to me since I've gotten them. Uh, since I got them broken, um, like I said, you may have to endure a little bit of ribbing from the boys at work. Uh, for having boots with a little bit more of a heel on it than they're used to seeing, but it's all good. I mean, that we're family out at work, so uh, I know everything like that's in good fun. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will link Nick's boots down below in the description. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hit that thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what kind of boots you wear and, and how you take care of them. Um, but anyway, guys, until next time, we'll see you down here on the South Coast. Y'all have a good one.